I think go back to, to what we were saying earlier is find like what I did was like make a list of all the things that you like to do and then go do those. And then like those will be things where you'll meet people at. And then from there, like to take it next another step further, be friendly to everyone, not just boys and girls. And then when you see someone or you start interacting with someone that you like, then try to do things that make them feel good about themselves. And that might just be like a good three step process. Yeah. Taking up knitting classes. Exactly. If you like knitting. Yeah. Have I been to Italy? No. Oh, yo, go to church and meet freaky girls. There are sinners. <laughs> my, church, my church is dope. My church has beautiful women there for yeah. sure. You definitely don't want to shit where you eat there. Yeah, that's true. I do Instacart as a side gig and I meet women and get dates while I'm out on the job grocery oh, shopping. That's gangster. Yeah, that's smart. Samurai. Yeah, I love that. Grocery stores and bookstores being friendly, nice and genuine. Exactly. I might just go to a bookstore this week. Fuck it. Uh, first time I ever caught your stream, I was listening to Also Care Pod. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Spider Rican. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. You love my daddy? He's not my dad. <laughs> and they've been saying, like, your uncle, your dad. Someone's, yeah, quite a few people. I'm like, what are you talking about? The fastest way to a woman's heart is through her groceries. Yeah. I mean, kind of. We like food. Bookstores are dwindling. I know. Books a Million is like my favorite. I did chaos. It was some some weird shit that happened to me. But if it all fixed. I would love to date you with just to shoot the breeze out about space. Talk about Oh, just to talk about space. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you so much, Zombie Dad. Thank you. I don't give a fuck either. Make fun, Granny. Your grandma? You need to go. Let's ban this guy. Who's this one random guy? Mods, can you ban him? Because I'm, I'm, I can't for some reason. <laughs> ban this other person. Too. I know. Ban this other guy. Who are these Oh, it's already gone. Yeah. Damn, you got good mods. I do, yeah. Ban all these fuckers. It's because I have the dating thing in the title. They're assholes. Um, uh, this is my, my back brace. Obviously, the best place to pick up girls is a Discord server dedicated to that one obscure anime. <laughs> good idea. Uh, no way. You don't want to meet anybody online, oh, like really? in Discord. No, I feel like if Discord's I... Discord is crazy. Like, like, I've had... Yeah, because think about the two guys that I've met on Discord. Like, remember that one guy? Oh, shoot. Who yeah. was fucking psycho? Yeah, exactly. And I'm pretty sure he was on my street last week, too, and it freaked me out. You saw him? Yeah, and we stared no each other eye to eye. Way. But there's a house for sale, and his dad's a real estate person. Yeah, but that's just, So I was like, are they trying city. to buy this? Like... Oh, so he could live by you? Well, not necessarily live by me, but like, like just be like, hey, dad, look at this place is for sale near the street, right? Because he's just a kind of like a creeper. He did really creepy things. And the fact that I saw street. him on my street was like, really weird. And you know what street. happened too, is we locked eyes and we looked like, I literally looked until I couldn't see him out of my viewpoint. And we what locked did he do? eyes. Did he like look down? He looked at me, made eye content contact for like a good minute and then looked away. But he looked at that's why I know it's him. Because at first I was like, this isn't him. And then I was like, no shit. It's very scary. Oh, that's Creeper. crazy. Yeah, it was uh, like five days ago. Yeah, it's okay. I have a knife. I have a machete. <laughs> that's right, you do. Yeah. Like two of them. Yeah, I put the other one in my car. <laughs> and the other one, I put one. I also put one in a spot to where if like I'm getting attacked in my sleep, I can be like, whoa! <laughs> Like, I literally put it in a spot to where I can pull it out like that and be like, nah. That's funny. <laughs> and probably that's why I've been sleeping so good, actually. That's good. You sleep with a machete. <laughs> I sleep with oh, my machete, wow. bro. And my and my taser and then my pepper spray. I unlocked my pepper spray, so all I have to do is grab it. And I made sure to put it in a spot where I could just be like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm crazy, guys. <laughs> Machete seems a bit excessive. Hell no. I'm gonna chop anybody up. You come to my house, I'm gonna chop you up. Fuck around and find out. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> oh my 
my god. Too bad Callie is so hard on guns. Yeah. No, I well, stick to we, the machete. You found a guy. That. Some guy got shot out in front of your house. Remember? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Some guy got shot in front of my house, and I was the first person on scene. And I'm still an idiot because they sh he gets shot, and I run over to him while there's still all the shit happening. He's like, "Help! I've been shot." But you know what's weird about it? He wasn't bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. I and think the cops came and got him. It was wild. I'd never seen anybody get shot and not bleed. Yeah. He was like, ah, ah. And then he's like, hide my gun. <laughs> right? Didn't he ask you to hide his gun or something? Yeah, shit? yeah. This other guy hid his gun and stuff for him. And then I told I told the cops, I was like, this guy hid this guy's gun because he asked for it to be hide, hide, hidden. I think like some gang shit happened. I think it was like a gang shit situation that happened. I remember you saying it, it was insane. Yeah. I know, I told the cops and they were like, wow, brave of you to just run. I was like, I know, now that you say that, why did I just run into this area of know, people you, shooting? You called it, like we were in your garage, You're like, that's a gunshot. I was like, I didn't even hear anything. <laughs> You're like, no, dude, it's crazy here. And we go outside, there's some dude bleeding, or he wasn't bleeding, but he's just lying on the ground. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, LA is crazy, bro. Uh, like, I can literally, I, I hear a noise and I'll know, you know, like. LA is some crazy shit out here. It's a wild. Oh west. no! Like, you thought it was a it was a car crash, right? Because they they no, they, his they stole his car. They, they shot stole. him and, and then stole his that car. Was crazy. Yeah, running into a firefight. Yeah, I kind of ducked and ran. You know, your instinct is to help. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there is something wrong with that. Because why the fuck? That's why I've been abused in my life. Because the first thing I do is help people. That's a bad thing. I need to stop and assess the situation. <laughs> Whoa! Master window. Can someone get, take care of that? I do not like that. No, it's not flying. You just lost it. Wow. Someone take care of that, please. No, you can ban him. I don't appreciate that. Man, that was crazy. Uh, you jumped into action. Thank you. If you duck, they can't hit you. It's a known thing. <laughs> I think most people actually have bad aim, too. I think most people have bad aim. I have a crazy theory about the CERN part. Okay. You want to talk about the CERN particle accelerator? All right. Let's talk about the particle accelerator. I'm into that. Something has just been bothering me about that for some time now. Something is weird about the machine. Yeah, but are you one of these people that believe that the, they've opened up a time portal and we're in a different time era? Because we're not, like, like you can't keep secrets like that. Like, there's no crazy conspiracies. The world is so connected. You can't hide secrets like that. You know, the, the CERN, the Hydron Collider is just there to figure out certain particles, and that's all they're doing. And people just want to make it into something dramatic, and they want to make it into some conspiracy theorists. But like, it's literally a bunch of scientists and you can trust science. Like, don't lose faith in scientists. Like, if people would have just trusted scientists during the pandemic and doctors during the pandemic, they everything would have been fine. So don't let your brain take you to that crazy space. No, it's not a real time portal opening to multiverses. We're not spun into a parallel time. No, it didn't happen. Like, you need to get off your TikTok algorithm is showing you way too crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, it knows that and then gets feeding you some crazy shit. Uh, thank you for the 100 biddies of uh, su suits and pajamas. Number one dating tip, show them your bits. <laughs> I love it. Um, the best conspiracy with that is the mandala effect. This isn't dating advice. All right, guys, talk to Thomas. I'm going to pee. I've got to get some medication. I'm going to leave you alone with them. Okay. I'll probably bounce in a sec, too. Okay. I'm going to pee for you. 